السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Welcome to Ramadan Quiz Show with Iqra Bangla. Alhamdulillah. We hope every one of you are keeping your fast well and good. Alhamdulillah. In today's Ramadan Quiz Show, we have two genius contestants. Mashallah. The contestant we we have in our studio. The first is. Aman Taudiri. Assalamu alaikum, Aman. Wa alaikum salam. How are you, Aman? Alhamdulillah. Mashallah, mashallah. Nice to have you here, Aman. Alhamdulillah. The next to Aman, we have another contestant who is going to compete with Aman is Fahim Rahman. Assalamu alaikum, Fahim. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are you, Fahim? Alhamdulillah. Mashallah, mashallah, both of you, congratulations that you came here, alhamdulillah, for Ramadan contest. Right? The rules are very simple. Very simple. The question will appear on the screen. If you give the correct answer, you'll get five. If you give the wrong answer, you'll be minus five. Is that clear, the rules? Here. Shall we start? Yes. Yes. You ready? Confident? Yeah. Okay. So, viewers, let's start. Inshallah. The first question goes to Aman Choudhury. Aman, there's your question on the screen. How do you know the Ramadan has begun? You'll have the four options. If you want the options, would you like to have the options? Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Options are option A is at sunrise. Option B for you is at sunset. Option C for you at moonrise. And the final option for you is at moonset. Sunrise, sunset. Moonrise, moonset. When do you know that the Ramadan has begun? Uh, uh, at moonrise. At moonrise. Option C. Yeah. So this is your final answer. Yeah. Okay. If you say this is your final answer, I will lock the answer. But still you have chance if you had to change your mind out of all these four chance is given to you once again would you like to change your mind no no so the c is your final answer yes okay we will check whether the answer is right alhamdulillah alhamdulillah aman that was the correct answer. Mashallah. So you got five points. Happy? Yeah. Mashallah, mashallah. Okay. Next, we are going to Fahim. Fahim, you ready for your question? Yes. Mashallah. There is your question on the screen. How does the dua for iftar start? Would you like to have the uh, options? It. Yes. Mashallah. This first option for you is the dua that starts with Allahumma laka sumtu. Second, the B option is Allahumma barik lana. C, the option is Allahumma taqabbal. And the D option for you is Allahumma alayka tawakkaltu. So, which wording does the dua of iftar start? Allahumma barik lana. Is it the B? Confident? Yes. Right? Yes. So, you're saying the dua for iftar starts with Allahumma barik lana. Confident? Shall I lock it? Okay. If you say this is the answer, 
I'm going to lock the answer. Okay, Fahim? Well, let's see. Let's see your answer. And Fahim, when you speak, speak a bit louder. There's your answer. Uh oh. That was the wrong answer. Aman, would you like to take take the challenge? If you give the answer, you will get five. But if you give wrong answer, you'll be minus five. You know. You don't like to take the challenge. You know. Why is it too heavy risk? Yet. Hey, you don't want to lose anything. Well. Never mind. If you don't want to uh, take the challenge, that's fine. Abs uh, it is 100% up to you. But in fact, the dua for iftar start. Allahumma laka sumtu wa bika amantu wa ala rizqika aftartu. That was the option A was the correct answer. So for him, unfortunately, you got zero and Aman has five. Let's move on to the next question. Next question goes to again Aman. There's your question on the screen. What is another name for the Quran? Options yes. are as follows. That is the A is Husban. B is Burhan. And the C is Furqan. And final D is Rahman. Told. Which one has that is the another name of the Quran? A. A. Husban. Yeah. You think another name for the Quran is the Husban? Yes. That is your final answer, Amal? Yes. Confident? Yeah. If you are so confident, we will check and see whether your answer is right. Okay. Ready? Yes. Oh, oh wait. Mm. This time you couldn't get it right, Aman. Now, Fahin, you have chance. Would you like to take the challenge? If you give the right answer, you'll be five. If you give wrong answer, minus five. One of those five. You don't have much next time if you have any anything, you'll gain from there your five will be deducted. So perfect. So would you like to take the challenge? Right? Ready? Which one do you think the right answer? Rahman D. Rahman D. Okay. Positive? Yes. Mashallah. Mashallah. When you say yes, this is Alhamdulillah. This is the, whatever you're doing, you should do with confidence. So you saying the D is the correct answer. Yes. Okay. We will check. Is the D correct answer? That means the Quran has another name and it is, he says, is Rahman. Oh, for this time to this time to Fahim. That was the minus five. So if you score in next round, that five will be minus. You remember? In fact, the Quran's another name is Furqan. Oh, oh, you had it in your mind. Yeah, also unfortunately. Also, oh, I'm so sorry. Rahman is another name for Allah, so I fell in mind. You thought because Rahman is the name of Allah, so maybe it's the name of Quran as well. Fahim, are you ready for your next question? Yes. Confident? Yes. Muasala, I like your confidence. Alhamdulillah. There's your question on the screen. What surah is the Ayatul Kursi in? In which surah is the Ayatul Kursi? Right? That it. Do you need the options? Yes. Okay. All options are there. A is Surah Yasin. B in Surah Al Imran. C is in Surah Nisa. 
and the D is Surah Baqarah. Where do you think Ayatul Kursi? Is it in Surah Yasin or in Surah Al Imran or in Surah Nisa or in Surah Baqarah? Okay. Surah Baqarah. Confident that the answer you gave this time will be the right answer? Pretty sure, yes. If I am ready for the answer. <laughs> mashallah, mashallah, Fahim. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, this time. Never to take away five legs. Oh. Never mind. But although you got five. I need some time with him, though. Yeah. Well, we'll see how it goes. Maybe you will win. <laughs> Inshallah. Okay. Next question goes to Aman. Aman, your question on the screen. What is Fidya? Would you like to have the, uh, the options? Yes. Okay. The options are for you. There you go. A. Payment for those who cannot fast. B. Payment for those. Payment from the for poor who cannot fast. And the C is the payment from those who missed the Salah. And the D is payment from those who missed their fast. Which one you think is the right answer? See, during Ramadan, some people pay the fidya. But what is fidya in fact? There are four options given for you. But it is for one is the correct answer definite. Which one you think? C. C. Payment from those who missed the salah. Maybe this answer will be in favor of you. Maybe it will go against you. We don't know yet. Would you like to change your mind? Yeah. No. Okay. You gave the answer C. Payment from those who missed the salah. Yes. Unfortunately, your answer this time is wrong. Fahim, chance for you. Would you like to take the challenge? What would happen if I get it wrong? <laughs> Again, same thing. If you get it wrong, so that will be minus five, although your score is zero at the moment. But again, if you score from there, it will be minus. I got to uh, knock five. So what would, would you like to do? Skip it. Skip it. Aman gave the answer. The answer was wrong. In fact, the correct answer should be the fidya. Fidya is the payment. That the payment are taken, some money are taken from those people who cannot fast. Oh. You know, like ill people. The can't fast, like yeah. can't touch water. Uh, like. Those those people are very, well, uh, very weak, sick people, elderly people cannot fast. They pay a certain amount of money to the poor people. That is called fidya. Okay, right. Next question goes to Fahim. Fahim, yes. your question on the screen. What is kafara? How are options? You want the options? Yes. All options are for you here. A. Payment from those who missed their fast. Option B. Payment from those who delayed the zakat. Payment, uh, I mean, C is payment from those who intentionally broke their fast. And option D is payment from those who unintentionally broke their fast. D. D. 
decision is yours. Pick C. You want to pick C, but first you pick D. Now you change your mind to C. Oh yeah. Okay. C. Payment from those who intentionally broke their fast. Right? Yes. So you're saying that is that means it is the kafara. For you. Okay. So, oh, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. Your answer is right answer. So, Fahim, how much do you think you got? Why does pound? Oh, no, no. No, not minus 10. You, you have Zero. five. You have five. What's cool? And Amal, how much do you think you have? Zero. Two. You have also five. Your answer was right. One answer was right. That's why you like it. Right? So, it is a time, in fact. Right? Now the question is coming up. Whoever, whoever raises the hand will be eligible to give the answer. Okay, once you, once you see the question on the screen, uh -huh. you raise your hand. If you give the answer, right? You get 10. Yeah. If you give the wrong answer, minus 10. So that means the next person wins. Okay? Right? Ready? Yes. yes. Okay. Let's go for it. There is the question. When fasting became obligatory in Islam? Options. Okay. Options are A. First year of Hijrah. Often option B is second year of Hijrah. Option C. Third year of Hijrah. Option D is fourth year of Hijrah. When Professor Islam went to Medina, that is called Hijrah. And when he went to Medina, which year the fasting became compulsory in Islam? His obligatory. Obligatory meaning compulsory. Ah. Uh, Perfect. Um. Fourth year. So. C. Third year of Hijrah. Yeah. Always, I see the Fahim is very, very confident. He, he likes to take the challenge. Sometimes to taking the challenge is uh, is very good. Sometimes maybe it is wrong. But the brave person always take the challenge, whether right or wrong. Okay. And in in this in this question, the answer Fahim gave very very challenging. I wish good luck for you, Fahim. Let's see the Fahim's answer. Was it right or wrong? Oh, yeah. never mind, Fahim. You played very well. You kept this game going. What Alhamdulillah. What happened if you retire? Like we so, go. but because you you lost 10. So obviously the next person wins. That is the well, rule. Well, I feel like I can answer the question. But... So, in fact, when the fasting became obligatory, the right question was second year of Hijra, only one year difference. Uh, but Alhamdulillah, it was wonderful. So both of you came here. Uh, lots of tough questions were asked. And some of the questions were very easy, mashallah. But with confidence, you gave the answer. And I congratulate both of you, alhamdulillah, and especially your parents, and especially for uh, for those of you who are watching, alhamdulillah. Uh, if you if you like to join our program, uh, email us, and inshallah you can join to this show, inshallah. So the today's show ends here. 
Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.